to a new episode of The Fruit Journey. Today I want to show you how to make some delicious fruit rolls. Or it's going to be like a sushi but the zucchini is going to wrap like this around the fruit which will be mango, cherry tomatoes and bell pepper. So here I'm making all of those really thin slices and again this is fat free and mucusless and fully raw and all fruits 100% fruits just be careful not to cut your fingers okay this is good Yeah, if you have a mandolin, it might be way easier. But this is what I have. And I'm gonna do something amazing with what I have. Just like you will when you try making this recipe. zucchini cut. The extra I cut them in small pieces like this because I'll just put them in the rolls. Now I'm gonna cut the pepper. So for this recipe I want some thin slices of pepper and I'm gonna use all of the length but then if I need to cut them after I will I might need some more later, but I'm going to go ahead and cut the mango now. Mmm! I'm going to do a little, little thicker for the mango. Because it's more soft. So it needs to be thicker so it kind of stays up.
And now I'm going to cut the cherry tomatoes. Um, so for the cherry tomatoes, if you cut them in one half this way, and then another half the other way, I mean the same length, so we kind of have some thin quarters like that, that would be ideal. Now that I have all of my items cut, I'm going to start rolling the rolls. And so some pieces of the zucchini are going to be smaller than others. So some of them, I will need to adjust the filling and cut it. Like this mango is way too big for this, so I'm going to just... Cut it in half. And this pepper, same thing. And the zucchini. Not so bad. Okay, so this is just like making a sushi roll, but with no seaweed. You gotta just keep it all together. Okay. I think we got it. Yay! It looks so beautiful! I'm gonna need another plate. So I'm going to put these here. How do I want to put them like this? Looks <laughs> so good. Okay. okay, next one. Pretty much the same size. So I can use my mango pieces and my pepper pieces and just roll just roll it it's so easy it's so simple it's so much fun oh my god it's so cute it looks so cute okay next one is a little bit bigger but it's still going to be half of my mango, because my mango piece kind of got bigger too. <sighs> so, but the peppers, see, I'm using a bit much 
a bit more of the pepper. And then two tomatoes. It's very easy, very simple, and very fun, and it looks really good. Mm. No, this side is better. Okay, next one. Well, sometimes there's a bit less pepper. Smaller pieces, pepper, and zucchini, and just roll it. Oh my god. I was thinking about something. One of my friends, one of my friends told me that Gabby isn't um isn't like music like your main passion or your main your main thing that you do. And I thought of it and I thought that's true. I spent most of my life making music, going to music school, etc. And uh, I love making music, I love writing songs, I love jamming, playing shows. And then I thought about it more, and I thought, is it the thing that I've done the most in my life? And I'm not sure if I've done more uh, cooking and music. I'm not sure. I mean, I spend a lot of time doing music. <laughs> but I also make food every day for myself, so maybe it's equal. Anyways, I also remembered that when I was a kid, I used to make, uh, make food out of dirt and water and I mean I'm sure a lot of people also used to do that I used to love making that and there was even this plant that had it was green and then the if you if you um, break the stem there was this white liquid that would come out I was so fascinated with that and I would <laughs> use it in my recipes and then my mom told me I used to even hide all of my creations under my bed and it was rocks and and dirt and water and whatnot. Um so the first thing that I first did was maybe making food even if it was not real food and it was with um just things of nature but also if you wanna if you wanna get really into it we could say that maybe the first thing I did was to sing or to make songs and that could be music I mean it's all it's all in us it's not one thing or the other for me I love I love music and I love making food and I don't know. It's like if you're a parent and you have two kids, would you say which kid do you like the most? Or which passion? It's like I love it all. I love it all, baby. Yeah. And this is so much fun. Please tell me that you also have fun doing this because mm, and this mango smells so good. 
So here I have a bit of a broken piece, so I'm gonna patch it. Can always make it work. Ready to roll. Yes, 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 you can make it, you can make it. Beautiful. Maybe need a little patch. Or maybe not. babies and their rolls and it looks so beautiful and delicious and colorful that would be so 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 perfect for little entree for any event a cocktail a wedding I want this if I ever have a wedding I want this even if I don't have a wedding I want this at any kind of beautiful amazing event little finger food yeah some finger food and really cute and this is all good stuff for you all fruit it's a different way to to see raw foods it can be healthy fat free totally fruitarian mucusless um really good and different not just a salad if you like this video and if you wanna if you wanna see more, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the thumbs up if you liked it and give me some comments, some questions, anything you like to know. Um, let me know what is your passion. Do you also like making food or what was your first passion or what did you make food of when you were a kid? Let me know, it'll be really fun to know about you. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go eat those beautiful babies. They're not really babies, but they just look so cute!